The Bucks That's have right. uh, hired some new people. Thomas McGahee, the new special teams coach, uh, has been around the block, uh, most notably with the New York Giants. Won a Super Bowl with the Giants way back in the day, defeating Tom Brady and the Patriots. Was with the Jets the year before Todd Bowles took over as the Jets coach. So um, he's been to a number of different places uh, along the way, especially in a special teams role as well. And the latest move, which came through on Saturday, was that the Bucks hired an offense, uh, sorry, a wide receivers coach as well. They hired Brian McClendon, yeah. who was coaching at the University of Georgia. And Scott, what I think makes this pick or this signing very interesting is once again, the Bucks are going to the college route, but unlike some of their other hirings, whether it was Liam Cohen or the offensive line coach or, or things of that nature, there isn't a connection between the new wide receivers coach, Brian McClendon and Liam Cohen. And we've seen that with some of the other hirings of Cohen either worked with an assistant with, at Kentucky or with the Rams or, or, or somewhere along the way. Right. Because of Brian McClendon, he's really only been at – he's been to a couple of other places, but his his main bag has really been at Georgia. He was there yeah. from 2007 to 2015. He's had a number of different jobs, assistant head coach, wide receivers coach, passing game coordinator, went to South Carolina as well, went to Oregon. So he's been with some big, big programs. And if you want to put a little bit of a – connection or connect the dots type of thing Todd Bowles' son Troy plays at the University of Georgia right. so you know Todd Bowles has his ear to the ground a little bit more toward right. the University of Georgia Bulldogs and maybe some of the other schools out there so the interesting thing about McClendon I'm doing a story on this for tomorrow but here's here's kind of some nuggets that'll kind of point you in the direction I'm heading and this is a really intriguing hire and sometimes the Buccaneers in the past they've gone straight to the college ranks to hire guys. I'm going to throw out a couple of names, Rod Marinelli, Mike Tomlin, right? These are guys that, that didn't have any NFL coaching experience that ended up being pretty good. So good. They actually were head coaches in the league after being uh, position coaches in Tampa Bay coordinators elsewhere, and then head coaches. So the thing with McClendon is he actually has some head coaching experience. He was the interim head coach uh, yes. for a brief minute at Georgia and also Oregon which is one of his coaching stops as well. So he's got some leadership abilities. He's young. He's 40 years old. So he's really kind of an intriguing name. I'm pretty excited about this after doing some digging. With uh, with Brian McClendon, he started off as a receiver at Georgia. That's his alma mater. Mm -hmm. And he coached running backs there. I'm going to throw out a couple names of some players that you might have heard of that he's coached. Isaiah Crowell, yeah. Todd Gurley, Nick mm -hmm. Chubb, Sony Michelle. Right? Those are some pretty good pretty Georgia big Bulldogs. Names. Running yeah. backs, um, a lot of those guys had success in the league. So he coached the the Bulldogs running backs, and then he's also coached receivers. You might have heard of a couple of these guys in South Carolina, Brian Edwards, uh, Debo Samuel, um, and most notably, he was the recruiter, and he coached the freshman year of Xavier Leggett, the South Carolina receiver that we saw at the Senior Bowl, who's draft eligible. When he went to Oregon, he coached a wide receiver that is getting some potential late first round buzz could be an option for the Buccaneers, Troy Franklin. Mm -hmm. And then uh, finishing up at Georgia these last couple of years, he's got a ton of familiarity with a lot of bulldogs coming out in this year's draft, including Lad McConkey, a wide yep. receiver who he coached personally, but he was also there of course for Brock Bowers, uh, both running backs, uh, Dejon Edwards and Kendall Milton uh, center Cedric Van Praan from Georgia. So uh, a lot of interesting college connections, much like Liam Cohen, Matt, I think that that having a guy from college can really help out in the draft process too. having some of that intimate knowledge, not just with the players on South Carolina and Oregon and Georgia that he's been on, but also players that he has coached against. 